Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for Tuesday, April 12. And we'll be going on a bit of a journey today, but uh, this is the crypto index, the top 10. We can see we've had this sharp move down and we've seen we've had that in equities as well. And we know that, you know, from this low here that um, Bitcoin and the equity markets have been in tune with each other. This is a daily chart here. So we can see that the stochastics has also fallen out of bed here. So it will either flatline a little bit or it will pop back up when it's ready. So it would be pretty safe to assume that this move down through here at some point will have some sort of kickback here, right? The question is, is will it kick back up into this area here or will it just be a rally and we come back down further in this? With Bitcoin, we've been looking at a couple of patterns here, as you may know. This is the triangle pattern, and I'll give it a chance to um, play out. Um, I don't like to rule things out until until they've you know proven to be ruled out. You know they've. Uh, move past some particular point. So it's still possible for this, even though it's moved down past its 61.8% as a B wave here, uh, we can still keep it like this and it could be a more complicated sort of correction as well, but we'll see. Um, anyway, from wave C here to wave D here as a WXY and an ABC inside the Y pattern there. So it would certainly need, we know from looking at the stochastics, um, this is a two day chart, so it's lagging a bit, a little bit behind on that. So we, we know it's gonna bounce up uh, you know, pull, pull back. So one of the other, I won't go on to the intraday basis here. I'll just, I'll just sort of want to go on a bit of a different tangent. So last time we spoke, we looked at a pattern like this here. So this was looking for, I was actually, because wave B hadn't actually pulled up to its 61.8% retracement level, 5060 at the 50,000 there, it's dropped a little bit short. Um, but now it's sort of got the possibility to have five waves down here in this instance. So uh, one and two, and there'll be three and four playing out across here and then down for five here. Uh, as an ABC, this is the 61.8% retracement and this is the 78.6 here for that. So it's possible for this to uh, to move down into this space here somewhere. So uh, yeah, I think this would be a good shakeout for Bitcoin before it's um, moved off. We'll have to have a look at the uh, futures and the perpetual swaps and see see what the weight is in those um, in those markets. So we'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day. And um, yeah, I want to take you on a bit of a journey because uh, this this move down through here has been in line with, with equities. And this rally here has rallied back up about equal with the banks, with the US banks. And they've also been, all, all the equities have been moving in off this low here for, 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 the, for this. So some of the banks like, like the Bank of America that pull back up to, well, it's 50% anyway, maybe 55%. Uh, JP Morgan's, they haven't pulled up to their 50 or 60%. They're a little bit short as well. Um, but they've probably got money locked up in Russia and they've all got their earnings this week. Um, so we're seeing a bit of activity uh, there as well. But um, yeah, if I go and have a look at uh, one of the banks at the moment, this Bank of America, that's a big, big one. So from the COVID uh, lows over here. What we've done with the banks, we've looked at them as one, two, three, four, and five up here for wave one. So I think the Bitcoin is going, this is 10,000 ticks. So it's not quite a daily chart, but it's sort of um, reasonably sort of close to that. So they've had roughly the same tops, roughly the same lows here within the day, and, um, and then the push up 
uh, from here. In this case, this one has pulled back up into the 50-60% retracement uh, area through here. We can count five waves down here if I go to uh, 10 ticks. You might have seen this already on, on, on other videos that I've done in terms of the US stocks, but I think that it's important because it is, um, you know, we're seeing Bitcoin do the same thing. So from this high here, I've got one, two, uh, three, four, five here. And we're doing an A and a B and a C here. Once that's finished, we'd expect this to move lower at that point, you know. Uh, so I think this is the same pattern that Bitcoin is, is doing uh, as such. So it was interesting. The, the banks had actually pulled this one down here first in terms of having five waves down here. The tech stocks were still moving up while this was moving down. Facebook was one of the first ones to show five waves down uh, last, uh, last week and this week. And Tesla wasn't far behind. And now from last night, we've seen Microsoft have five waves down and Apple having five waves down. So if I can just cut to, I'll just move these over a little bit. So I'll just keep that Bitcoin one there. So with the S&P 500 and the, um, the NASDAQs are a little bit different, but uh, those tech stocks have moved down. And what we're seeing on the, on the uh, S&P 500 is we're also seeing five waves down here as well. So we're likely to see uh, wave two come in very shortly and then push down for wave three. So... If this is moving in the same on the same days as Bitcoin, well then Bitcoin's probably going to do the same thing as well. Now the only saving grace for this this particular market here um, that it can be bullish is this could all be up here as wave one with an A and a B and a C here. Maybe I've got that on on this daily chart here, but I, I do think that um, I do think that it's kind of important so I'll just remove that there the only way that we've got five waves here so this would be the a wave there will be a b wave and then a c wave down here for wave two and then move up from that point so we could have it as one and two and one and two um, I think that's a little bit of a long shot because the Nasdaq has already pulled down to its 61.8 percent here so what we've been doing is we've been preparing for a, uh, a sh on the short side so if we can just take a look at this at the moment because bitcoin won't be far behind um maybe it's on two i can't remember it's on two or five anyway we'll double check anyway this is it here so this is 2000 ticks so we're looking at this having five waves down it's not quite finished yet and then an abc over here and then we're going to short the b wave over here so this is what I think Bitcoin could be doing as well. So it's possible, I'm just saying it's not confirmed. It's not confirmed until we take this out here, but um, it's as wave one here and wave two over here for, for um, you know, and Microsoft have got the same five waves down, you know, so they're all the stocks are doing the same thing. So you need to watch those videos to understand it, even though you don't trade them. So Bitcoin could be doing the same as wave one and two here, and then three, four, five. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so just to hone in here a little bit further, just going to the uh, daily chart here for a moment. And we talked about this yesterday, I think it was, and we're looking for uh, still, because it hadn't actually pulled back up to its 50, 60% marks. So I thought that it may do that, but I have to say the banks haven't done that. Morgan, you know, Morgans and Goldmans and all that, they're all struggling, you know, but we've got them loaded up as a B wave. So it's probably likely we're going to see this come down here and then pull back for wave two and then three, four and five coming down here, having some sort of equality with this leg over here for this. Now, you may think that's not the case and, you know, there's plenty of accumulation and no hodlers are selling and there's support in here and all the rest of it. And, um, but, you know, I mean, if, you know, the, the perpetual swaps of the futures market have got much more volume than the spot market here. So those guys can, you know, push this market around. If they wanted to buy, they'll shake us all out here for sure. 
So it will only be the tough people that survive this particular uh, move down. You know, anybody that's bought, you know, above here is going to be sort of shaken out on this move here. A lot of stops will be taken out, so to speak. Um, but if you're a strong character, you'll be looking to, uh, you know, purchase down here, hold on to your, uh, hold on to your Bitcoin, and look to buy more here, because once it's all shaken out, then we should see the push up here, and which we'll see in equities uh, as well in that in that space, and also the banks, and they'll all move together at that point. So I think that's really interesting. Will this occur? I don't know. Um, you know, I've been talking about the banks being really weak for ages, and then I'm now last night I can see that Microsoft and the other guys have you know coming into the into the picture as well. Um, so I think that uh, that's all pretty important. They're all moving together, which you know they do that when when they're all sort of fearful, so to speak. So anyway, this move here from this uh, wave, this low here, because I know a lot of people have got this counted down here as, as an ABC. And yeah, I know that can fit. But when you have a look at the CME futures market, you can see that um, it's quite clear that we've got five waves down. But anyway, besides that, looking at an A wave here, then an A, B, C, D, E here for this, and then looking for, and we've got five waves up here, of one, two, three, four, five for the C of B. A little bit short and probably not the best looking five wave structure down here as well. But I think what we'll do is we'll just continue to line it up with equities, right? So we'll see whatever it's going to do to finish off down here. And then we're going to see some sort of, oops, I've reached my limit on, on uh, what I can put on the chart. So let me just clean a few things up. On the sideline over here, just so I can finish off my my rant and uh, yeah so we're looking for an A wave, a B wave and a C wave to pull back but what we'll be looking for to confirm the move down all we need to do is short the B wave here if you're looking to short that is So this could move down further. There's going to be lots of support down here. 38 is the next level down by the by. I mean, 39 is there, but 38 carries a lot more weight for that. So we may move down into that space for, for that. I haven't actually pulled this a little part here. I can see from this point here that we've got one, two, three, four, five to move down. So it could be the, the B way for the triangle that, uh, that we just mentioned in the beginning of the video. We could have the B wave here. And we could just continue to push all the way up from that point there. I don't think so. Not if this market's in tune with the equity market. I can't see that happening. So all we need to do is look for short positions uh, once the 40,000 becomes the retested resistance. But we'll try tomorrow, we'll try to get, um, be looking for this rally here as part of the short trade uh, pattern set up to the to the downside at that point. So I'm going to leave it at that. I just wanted to tell the story of the banks being the weakest and now the tech stocks have rolled over and, and we're looking at impulse waves from the top of these markets. And Bitcoin's been following the same move, so I don't see uh, I don't see any problems with it continuing to do that. And we'll now probably look at one and two here, and then three, four, five, moving lower, uh, shaking out all those um, uh, all those weak hands in uh, in the Bitcoin there. Now, will this be true here as wave two to wave three? I don't know, but we're going to set up and we're going to be ready for it if it does occur. Right? It's just as simple as that. Otherwise, it will just be the B wave there, and that will move up, and it will move up, and you can watch it on the on the S and P because we'll end up. Having having some sort of corrective reach my limit again, uh, some sort of, you know, move to the upside at that point where we'll be looking to, to short at that point. So it'll be looking something like that. Alrighty, I'm going to leave it at that, but that's, um, that's what I'm thinking. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.